So now we're standing out in front of the LTS. So this is going to be a 2019 Ford F550 Power Stroke. So everything we build is gonna have that diesel motor. It's gonna be four wheel drive as well. Kind of the, some of the stuff you'll notice here, and this is custom earth roamer equipment, is the fender flares. So we designed these in house as well as the front bumper. So what we were trying to do with this is kind of emulate the design curves of this new 20 this new body that came out in 2017 so very angular so we kind of picked up on that with the fender flares if you look over here at this bumper we actually pulled this profile in the bumper to match that you see in the hood so that kind of brings that whole flow from the bumper up into the truck and gives it a real nice aesthetic look now when we look down here we're going to have a 40 inch LED light bar that's integrated into the bumper, which is curved, uh, which is pretty cool. We have our LED off-road lighting here and then fog lighting. So all this lighting is done by Baja Designs, which is a, a big player in the off-road racing industry. Now to kind of cap it off in the center, we have a 16.5 Warren winch, so that's 16,500 pounds there. Factor 55 shackle, so, and that's all wirelessly controlled so you can get out of some tough situations there. Um, under the hood, we're going to keep it pretty pretty much factory, so we're not going to change a whole lot there. We want that Ford warranty to stay intact, so we don't want to mess around with a lot there. We add a couple fuses for the so the truck can charge the batteries when we're driving down the road, but other than that, it's pretty much factory. As we kind of move around the truck here, you're going to notice these huge beefy tires. So this is a Continental MPT. This is a 41-inch tire. You might wonder why there's so many lug nuts on this thing. So this is a... It's a two-piece wheel. This is a wheel made by Hutchinson, and it'll actually come apart, and in the center of this tire is a beadlock. So there's a piece of rubber that's gonna sandwich the tire to the wheel. Why that's important is because when we go off-road, we wanna reduce the pressure in these tires. We wanna do that for two reasons, one for traction and two for better flotation. So we'll actually take air out of the tire that'll make the tire get wider and longer on the bottom, which is great. The downside of that is if you don't have a beadlock, the tire can actually come off the wheel, which you don't wanna be in that situation out in the middle of nowhere. So this wheel allows us to clamp the tire to the wheel so we don't have that issue. Uh, the other cool thing on this is we have what's called a monster valve. So this is a big sh kind of like a Schrader valve on steroids. But what it does is it allows us to easily air these tires down. So this, with this kind of knurled ring here, we can just open that up with our hand and it'll actually let the air out that way. So you no longer have to sit here and hold a screwdriver on the valve stem or any of that sort of stuff. And then because that orifice is larger, it'll actually, they'll inflate uh, a lot more efficiently. And to do that, we have an onboard air compressor on the truck. So there's a, a big 12 volt compressor that allows us to air the tires up. It also allows us to run impact tools and that sort of thing. Kind of as we move back here, you'll see that we have this X guard lining on the truck. So we do that, all that work in house. It's similar to a Line X, it's a ruggedized uh, truck truck bed liner coating effectively. When we open the doors here, you'll notice the step will come out to give nice access into the cab. And then the cab on this truck is going to be a Lariat interior. So the nice thing is that we can buy this truck from the factory as a Lariat. So it is a, a well-appointed interior from the factory. We do then go in and we add a custom center console. So you can see that console is lower than a factory console, allowing you to get access into the back more easily. Now in that console as well, because we've lowered it, we've gained kind of a little instrument cluster there for our air ride controls, our ham radio, our auxiliary fuel control and uh, systems monitor control. We've got the standard Ford accoutrement above it with the built-in navigation and all that. We also add in a backup camera, a forward-facing FLIR, so an infrared heat sensing camera, and then a chassis camera as well that you can see underneath the truck. Speaking of fuel, I want to talk about that briefly. So we have a 40 gallon tank in the rear and we add a 55 gallon tank. So this truck's going to have 95 gallons of fuel in it. We're going to range anywhere from 8 to 12 miles a gallon depending on what you're driving, how fast you're driving, if you're going up, down, if it's windy, all those sorts of conditions. But you can expect up to, you know, about a thousand mile range there. The back of the cab 
is not going to be factory. We're actually going to custom build the rear captain's chair. So this is actually a, a factory forward front seat that we've reconfigured to work in the rear. Those are going to go forward and back and recline. So a nice comfortable spot for your guests to sit. And then one thing you may notice on the outside of the cab here is these aluminum blocks here and here. What those will be is a what we call an exterior door lock. So there's actually a locking pin that'll go in here and here and that's going to make it very difficult to gain access into the truck. Of course, you could still break a window, but now you're crawling into a window and you can't do that very discreetly. So it's going to be a, a visual kind of deterrent, you know, if you're leaving your truck for a couple days and going on a trip or something like that. All right, now we get kind of into the, the fiberglass componentry of the truck. So this is going to be a fiberglass composite camper shell effectively. This is a fiberglass balsa fiberglass. So there's going to be fiberglass on one side, on both sides of it and a end grain balsa core in the center. So it's going to be built much like a high-end uh, yacht would be built. The nice thing about it is there's no metallic structure inside. So there's nothing to condense water, anything like that. The heat's not going to go through it or the cold's not going to go through it. And then it's one piece. So there's no seams, glues, sealants, nothing like that. So you're going to find on most of your RVs, You've got a uh, different materials coming together, like aluminum and rubber, for instance. Those are gonna expand and contract at different rates depending on the heat, and those seals are gonna wear out over time and be a maintenance item. With this, uh, we don't end up with that because it's all made out of the same thing, so it's gonna expand and contract at the same rate, and we don't have those maintenance items other than for sealing our fans and our roof hatch. One of the other things we do is when you look at this truck, you might be thinking, oh, the center of gravity is pretty high on this. Well, visually it looks high, but what we do is we put all the weight, the stuff that has a high mass, we put it as low as we can. So behind these covers here on one side is the water tank. So we're keeping all that water weight you know, below this line. And on the other side is the batteries. So all the, the items that are very heavy, we're keeping them very low. Uh, the fuel tanks as well are low. So it keeps the center of gravity of this truck a lot lower than you might think uh, looking at it from the outside. And that's gonna help our on-road handling and dramatically help our off-road handling and capability. So we go back here, this is gonna be our water fill. So that's how we're gonna fill up our water tank. This is a exterior outlet so we can hook up a blender and make margaritas or whatever we wanna do there. The entry door here, when we open this up, there's gonna be steps that automatically come out, which is a nice feature. And the same when we close it. Behind that is an exterior shower. So this is a hot and cold shower. A hose will come out and you can dial in your temperature. And then once we get to the back of the truck, this is kind of our, our tailgate setup. So this box will house an exterior kitchen and we can just simply pull on this latch and this whole box will swing out. So we can swing it around the campsite, uh, but for now I'll just show it to you as is. So this will open. And this can be used as a, a cutting surface or a work surface, or we can slide this up and kind of convert this whole system here. So now we've got a stove, we have a sink here. We can just bring this inside and dump it or dump it outside somewhere. Cutting board to go with that, cut our veggies up and put the, the scraps down through this slot. A grill will slide out. So this grill will be powered by propane. So these are the only two propane appliances on the vehicle. It's just, we just use the small green Coleman bottles for that. And then we have a built-in storage system next to it. So different trays and so forth to put, be able to organize all your different stuff there. And then here you actually have storage for one of those propanes, another storage here. And then like we had on the inside, you've got your Earth Roamer apron, and this is gonna have all of your, uh, just open it up really quick. It's gonna have all your grilling utensils. And of course they're marked with Earth Roamer as well. All right, the last component of the exterior kitchen is a table. So there's actually a table on top of this, this tray, the whole thing pulls off and then it flips over and these legs will come down and create a nice table. So that's the last component there, the exterior kitchen option. On this side, we've just got a big storage box. So firewood, trash, whatever, those kind of big bulky items that you don't want inside the truck. Bike racks on top. 
and this is gonna swing out as well. So now we have more storage. So the lower locker is, is storage and the upper is as well. So you can see we've got a tool bag and a bunch of different tables and stuff like that for the shows we do. Up here you're gonna have an ax, your remote controls for your winches, and some shelving there. Now what you will notice is when I open this door, these steps will actually come out. So that'll gain access for me. So I can step on this and then I can step on the bumper and really get up in here. Now you might be wondering as you look at the back of this truck, wow, that's nice your tires up there, but how the heck do you get it down? We've come up with a system for that. So there's a whole hoist assembly and what it does is it mounts to a connection down in here and engages with the wheel. You'll see there's a, a little winch up here that'll connect to it and then it'll actually lower the whole tire down like this. So it's a process that takes, you know, it takes about a half hour to get it down once you have the, to assemble the hoist and do all that, but it's relatively easy. One person can do it and one person can actually change a tire on this truck if they know what they're doing. Now on the back, we've added a rear winch. So this is gonna be a similar winch to the front, 16.5 Warren. So if you end up in a situation where you need to winch yourself backwards, you'd use that guy there. And it is outfitted with synthetic line as well with the front. The so, world. Yeah, so now we'll go in and I'll give you a quick tour of the inside. All right, so now we're inside the LTS. Uh, this is gonna be one of the layouts we do. This is the most popular, but really when you go to buy one of these trucks, you're gonna select your floor plan. So there's four or five different floor plans we offer, and then you're gonna select all the interior finishes. So that's the wood species, the stain color, the countertops, backsplash, flooring, leather, and all that. And you're also gonna select from a host of different options. So coffee makers, wine racks, built-in dishes, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, in the galley here, we've selected the stainless countertop. So it's stainless with a with a built-in sink, which is super nice. The, the nice thing about it is it's very lightweight. So it's just a, a thin stainless. Uh, so that's always a plus. The other thing we offer is a granite countertop, which gives you a little bit more of that luxurious feel, but it, obviously there's a weight compromise for it there. In the then is the induction cooktop. So the induction cooktop's been awesome. It will boil water in about four and a half minutes. So it's super efficient from a, a time standpoint. It does use a decent amount of power, but we have a lot of power on board on this truck. So in terms of batteries, we have four 8D AGMs. So we're getting over a thousand amp hours of battery power, and we have about 1300 watts of solar on the roof of this. So here we're looking at the galley sink. So we like to have a decent sized sink here that obviously is used for washing dishes and those sorts of things, but you can also, you know, wash clothes in it because this doesn't have a washing machine on board. We have a, a nice faucet here. It's gonna pull out with a sprayer. We have a separate drinking water tap. So everything in the truck is filtered. This is filtered at a, a higher micron. There's also a cutting board that, that will go in here as well. So you can prepare your meals and that sort of thing. But back to the water system, in terms of fresh water, we have 95 gallons of fresh. Gray is 26. And then our black water is handled a little bit different than typical. It's a cassette toilet system. So it's a five gallon cassette. Just the toilet goes into that. Um, you use very little water flushing it so that that cassette can last you quite a good length of time. And the nice thing about it is if you're somewhere where they don't have RV dumps, you can dump into a standard toilet, a pit toilet. If you use the right agents, you can even dig a hole in the ground and dump it there, if, depending on the local regulations and that sort of thing. So this is the portion of the lower galley cabinet. So all of our drawers and cabinets are gonna have this positive latch mechanism. So you're gonna close it, push the latch, and it's gonna engage into the surface above. So I'll kind of go through the drawers here. The top one is gonna be our built-in silverware. So all the silverware fits in. There's little rubber isolators, so it holds it in nice and steady, and it's not gonna rattle. This is an earth roamer thing. Below that will be our custom earth roamer shoe knife set. So this is gonna be a complete set for four. So you're gonna have you know, earth roamer engraved high-end knives here. These go into a block and there's actually, you can kind of see it's slatted material. So each slat has two magnets in it. So there's actually magnets in there that, that hold the knife into place, which is pretty cool. So they don't move around or anything like that. Again, we designed everything on this truck to hold up to an off-road environment. So we don't want stuff flying out or that sort of thing. Below that, this one's just an open drawer for, for whatever you choose to put in there. And then the bottom drawer is gonna be our nested cook set. So this is a, 
a nine piece set so you end up with uh, several different selections of pans and colanders and that sort of thing and it all fits nicely in that one little drawer yeah our goal is that somebody can buy one of these go to the supermarket and buy groceries and go on their trip so nice. that we've got all the utensils you need the you know like in this cabinet we have the a, a slide out trash bin and a brooms in here cutting board all that kind of stuff so so you don't have to to find that stuff and sort that out forward of this drawer bank is going to be a slide out pantry so this is going to roll out all these shelves are going to be adjustable so you can adjust them to whatever kind of dry goods or canned goods you want to put in there now when we move over to the driver's side of the truck this is opposite the galley you're going to have our eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer combo here so this is going to be made by a company called vitra frigo it's an italian brand um, it's a very nice refrigerator it's super efficient it's going to run just on 12 volts so no propane on this and for that matter there's no propane on the entire vehicle other than a small propane we use for the exterior uh, stove so super efficient dan foss compressor on this guy you know large capacity fridge below nice size freezer above and this thing's going to pull only about four and a half amps when the compressor's running so we can with solar run this indefinitely we don't have to worry about being off pitch or off grade or any of that kind of stuff that you would with a traditional propane fridge uh, so we've been really happy with that unit above it is going to be a convection microwave so this will function as a microwave or as a oven effectively so you could set this at your oven temperature 400 or whatever and you could cook brownies in here we did a thanksgiving thing once where we cooked a turkey in here off solar power which was pretty cool all right so up above the galley here is our second component of the quiet ride dish storage system so this is going to have a safe place to hold all your plates so there's these foam strips here that are going to hold everything in doesn't rattle so when you're driving down the road you've got that you have glasses in here as well same sort of system where it's going to hold them nice and firm in place so that's kind of the plates and glasses there as we move forward we get into the bowls and coffee mugs so again everything you're you're going to need to have meals this cabinet's just going to be open for storage and then the front cabinet is what we refer to as the media center so this is going to have our bose surround sound system so this is a 5.1 uh, surround sound system there is our direct tv module here for satellite tv blu-ray player apple tv and then a xm radio unit in front so kind of give you whatever your uh, your liking is from the entertainment side and this is all customizable so if you didn't want satellite or you didn't want the bows or whatever you can kind of choose your own options there below that is our our sofa so this is kind of the spot you you hang out and relax the nice thing about it is it's electronic so the base will actually come out so you can bring this out and kind of sit in here and hang out the one thing you might notice though is oh the tv is over there that's not going to work out that great so we came up with a solution for that and that is that the tv will actually pull out now this TV is on an electromagnetic mount, so it'll lock into the wall and when you're driving down the road that electric magnet will turn on and hold it firmly against the wall so it doesn't come out uh, while you're driving or in off-road situations. So we could pull it out like this and we could watch TV while we're at our galley making dinner or whatever, or we can pull it around and it's actually going to drop down and we can put it there and then when I'm back on my couch I can be comfortable and watch TV uh, in a reasonable location there. Kind of at the forward end of the couch, you'll see this, which is a personal table. So this is going to pivot out and give you a nice space there if you want to work on your laptop or write some stuff or whatever you want to do there. That folds neatly away. Kind of to the front here is is open to the cab so it's something people don't realize often about an earth roamer but you have the access into the cab so you can come back and forth and it's something that you end up using a lot more than you might think especially if the the weather's bad or whatever you can just hop back here and it makes it super easy there's a curtain as well to close this off and then there's also insulated panels that go in here if you're in hot or cold climates um, there's one thing I forgot on this side, which is behind these cushions are flip-up counters. So we can actually remove that cushion, and then this counter is going to come up 
electronically and give you a nice work surface there. So there's one here and there's a similar one in front of it. Yeah, so the windows we use in this vehicle, this is a, a product by Dometic. It's a European product. And what it is, is it's a two pane acrylic window. So there's an airspace in here. So it gives us a really good amount of insulation. The other thing you'll notice is there's no metallic components on the window. So it's all composite. The reason for that is so we don't get condensation inside the truck uh, when, it's, when it's cold out. Um, these guys will open all the way up which is great. And then they have an integrated screen on the top and a shade uh, that comes up from the bottom. And you can kind of pick where you want to put that. So it really lets the outside in, makes it feel super open, light and airy. So up here is our kind of master bed, if you want to think of it like that. So this is a, a king size bed here. We do offer different options in terms of the cabinetry on this side. So you can have anything from a queen to a California king. Um, up here we've got an integrated gun safe uh, there, and then the rest of this is just storage. We have the matching leather pads up here so you can lay up in the bunk and watch your TV. There's a fan up there, there's also a roof hatch so that shade will open and that's a great spot for stargazing or you can, that's actually your access to the roof so if you need to get up there to clean your solar panels or that sort of thing. Now what's also cool is under the bed there is additional storage so we've got storage under here for long items this goes all the way forward these are those pass-through insulated cushions uh, cushions i was talking about that go in here and then in the center space we have this nifty little ladder so this ladder only takes up an inch and a half but you'll see when i pull it out and pivot it down it gives us a nice big wide foot tread and it makes it super easy to get up into the bunk. So I gotta just fold up and store. All right, I'm gonna put the TV back up. So it's gonna pivot up, lock into place, store there. And then on this side is, is the dinette. So what we're looking at here is our Breckenridge floor plan. It's been very popular because it has a kind of dedicated space here. So a couple can sit here and eat, work, do anything like that, which is very nice. And this will also convert to a bed. So this table will pull off the wall, the leg folds up, goes down, and the whole thing converts to a bed. Under this seat, you have a nice big drawer. So for storage there, and then a magazine rack up here. Under this seat is going to be the inverter and all the big circuitry protection, you know, big fuses and things like that to protect the circuitry on the truck. Now as we move up, you're going to find our control panel. So this is going to be what's going to control the truck. So we have our a monitor here that's going to tell us about our, our battery system, our uh, water tank levels, all that sort of stuff. And then we have breakers here and circuit protection for all of our 12 volt circuitry. On this side, we have breakers for our 120 volt circuitry. So that's all gonna be stuff that's run from the inverter. Gauge up here is gonna give us our solar, tell us how much solar power we're, we're harnessing at the moment. As we kind of move forward here, we've got controls for our inverter and then controls for our, our heating. So this truck has, is equipped with a diesel air heater. So that heater is going to run off these diesel, much like a furnace would, to heat the space. We also have a diesel fired coolant heater, which is going to heat the water up on the truck. So there's a couple different ways you can heat the water. One is by driving down the road. It's automatically going to heat your water up. Uh, you can use that hydronic diesel heater if you're boondocking, or there's an electric element in there as well if you're plugged into shore power. Kind of forward of that is going to be our air conditioning control. So this has a, two air conditioners in it. It's a split system, so they have condensers on the roof and the evaporators are inside the truck. One's kind of behind the microwave area, one's behind the rear drawers there. And you can run one or both depending on the conditions and, and what you're trying to do in terms of getting that temperature down to a nice comfortable place inside. As we move forward to that, you'll see our, our ghost monitor system. So this is a surveillance system that has cameras mounted on both sides of the truck, the rear of the truck and the front of the truck and we can kind of monitor what's going on with this monitor or we can pull it up on our main TV. Uh, we can also configure this to where it has motion sensors. Uh, we can set it up to where it can text us or not with the truck. 
a video uh, if it sees motion and that sort of thing. So it's it's pretty cool technology, especially in a vehicle that's as expensive as this one is. So I'm standing at the rear of the truck now. So just to get your your reference, the galley is here. So I'm at the back end of the truck. So I'll start on this side. This is kind of going to be your wardrobe, this whole cabinet here. So this is all going to be drawers on this side. So these are big 18 inch deep drawers. It's dovetail drawers, ball bearing slides, all solid wood in here. So you're going to have two, two small, two medium, and two large drawers. So kind of when we designed this truck, the, the big thing was that we wanted a space for all your stuff. So you're not living out of suitcases. So we wanted to have a bunch of storage. So anytime you're looking at an RV in this size, it's usually limited on storage. And we didn't want that designing this product. So we really, you know, dedicated this whole space to those drawers. If you're traveling as a couple, you each get three drawers, which is nice. And then you'll get the full closet next to it. So full hanging closet here and then adjustable shelves down here for the rest of your clothing. Now in the middle, you can't forget the important stuff. We've got the wine rack. So this will store bottles of wine here, glasses up here, which are held securely in place. And then there's a little drawer that pulls out with your wine opener and all your accessories. All right, now we're to the final door of the truck. So behind this door is the bathroom. So this is what we call a wet bath. So that's gonna be a shower and a toilet bathroom combined into one. It's very common on sailboats and, and some other smaller boats. So it really optimizes that space. We can use that space as a bathroom. We can also use it as a shower. So in a truck this small, we wanna make sure that we're, you know, have a, a good space to do that, but that we're not taking up too much of the truck with the bathroom. Again, the hot water in there is gonna be heated by either driving down the road or that diesel heater we talked about. There's also a cassette toilet in here that we talked about. Uh, that's a five gallon cassette toilet. And then this whole, this whole unit is going to be four season capable. So you can run this thing in very cold temperatures down to negative 30 with all the plumbing systems working. So thanks for joining us today and uh, taking a little time to look at the Earth Roamer XVLTS. Uh, if you want to know more about this truck or the larger truck we build, if you visit us on earthrummer.com or check out our Instagram or our Facebook account.